oh my goodness, I just typed in my friend's address and a little blue line appeared on Google Maps showing me the way to go. All those little satellites flying around are um, giving me the directions. Isn't that cute? Well, the truth is uh, GPS is all ground-based technology. Um, I spent quite a few years working for private companies um, on cell phone towers and it's all ground-based technology. It uses three towers using a method called triangulation and the three towers pinpoint your position. I've whacked a little video together to show you how it works and the truth is guys, uh, satellites don't exist. Uh, GPS is all ground-based technology and there's so much uh, stuff on the internet about satellites and how uh, GPS is working. It's all lies. It's ground-based. Check out the video. Hey guys, I just love using my um, Apple iPhone and type in my address on Google Maps and all those satellites take me to my destination. Well, the truth is guys that um, GPS is actually all ground-based technology and um, the way it works, well to get a better understanding, uh, they use a method called triangulation. So let's look at a shape of a cell phone tower. Take note that it has a shape of a triangle. Each side of the triangle is called a sector. These sectors are labelled by the Greek letters Alpha, Beta and Gamma, A, B, Y. With each sector, the tower can see how far away a connected cell phone is. This allows it to trace the cell phone. By detecting which sector it is connected to and how far away the cell phone is, here is a representation of these sectors with the cell phone tower being in the middle, in the blue. Okay, so now let's say our target is connected to sector gamma and it is in the number four range. And we know that the cell phone is somewhere in by the yellow marked area. I think you get the idea. Let's see what happens when we use two towers. When a phone is connected to two towers that overlap each other at the same time, we can further increase our accuracy in, tra in tracing the phone. The cell phone is connected to the blue tower's sector alpha and at the fifth band, five miles in distance, while it is also connected to the orange tower's gamma sector and is in the fourth band of distance, four miles of the orange tower. We can trace the cell phone really accurately by comparing the two results of the two towers, as in this diagram. Now, if a third tower is brought into play, we get what is called a triangulation. In this case, we can trace the cell phone really accurately. So as you can see, the mobile phone is again within the red circle. If it moves to the left, it enters the green tower, band six. If it moves to the right, it enters the green tower's band four. If it moves down, it enters into green tower's gamma sector and also enters the band four of the blue tower. I think you get the idea. So um, this is how triangulation works. Um, this is how our big uh, Telstra and all our communication companies, this is how GPS actually works. Uh, when you go for a drive, you'll just notice towers are everywhere. Um, it's all ground-based technology, folks. The GPS, um, there's no satellites. I hate to break it to you but this is how GPS works.